Inspiration is something I've had personal troubles with for the past couple of weeks. Not only has it been with YouTube content creation, but I've also been suffering from trying to sort different things out in my life. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. But enough with the depressing trivialities of my personal life, I want to give you guys an update on all the content I've been working on, or at least plan to work on in the future. If you're new to the channel, consider liking and subscribing. I consistently upload videos once a week, which by no means is something to write home about, but I'm working on expanding my resources and time management to make more videos per week on a daily basis. This is just a forefront, but you know, I could totally do it. I have done it before, but just where I am in life right now and how things are going, I, I just feel overwhelmed. Um, I don't think the daily thing is feasible right now. Um, I'm just doing a lot right now and trying to manage a lot of things at once. But anyway, onto the video. The first thing I wanted to mention is that Smash Brothers will probably always be a topic of discussion on this channel, or at least a main source of content. If all else fails, I will always land on Smash Brothers because I like Smash Brothers. It's a fun game, I've grown up playing it, and a lot of people like it. Like, a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a given, but yeah, it's a main source of content on this channel. I find it fun and entertaining to play Smash Brothers, which is why, you know, like, I want to make more Smash Brothers content. Um, however, I want to stray away from, like, normal scripted content, um, and, uh, you know, just normal content in general, and kind of just, like, do more with Smash Brothers, you know? Obviously, I have, like, my Amiibo series and whatever, but I don't want to just, like, showcase amiibos fighting each other i think that's kind of boring so that being said i have been working on some things in the background i know i released that gods of smash brothers trailer which was honestly kind of corny um but like you know it, it was a setup for a, a good potential series and something that everyone can get behind you know and it got a lot of support and i am looking to do more things like that in the future Right now though, uh, Smash Brothers is kind of just a, a pastime hobby. You guys will know, you guys will know, you guys will see it when Smash Brothers evolves. But for right now, it's just like, it's just on the back burner, you know? Uh, for the next thing that I wanted to cover, uh, let's talk about Persona, you know? Um, Persona, 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 Persona. I feel like that's been my last, like, five or six or seven or even eight weeks of my life i've just been playing non-stop persona i have been playing an insane amount of persona 5 recently and i don't know what it is i've just been playing so much persona 5 i love it um but to be honest i'm interested in the worlds of persona 3 and persona 4 um persona 3 let's be honest let's be honest here uh at the point where i'm recording this right now I have already recorded some Persona 3 content, so this is kind of like a... Uh, the timeline of the sequence of, of events is it's kind of weird, but I want, to, I want to dive deeper into Persona content and learn more about the worlds, and I'm willing to put 100 hours, 200 hours, 300 hours, whatever, you name it, into both Persona 3 and Persona 4, learn about the characters, learn about everything. I also want to play Persona 1 and Persona 2 and uh, the SMT series as a whole. But yeah, that's something that will be coming very soon. And it's not that I don't want to play like Persona 5 or anything like that, right? Um, it's just, I've been playing so much of it. So I think a new experience, something that like we can all enjoy together. I know a lot of people out there are really big Persona fans and I haven't uploaded any Persona content onto my channel. So like, you know, it's a good opportunity to do something that I might get some traction in and whatever. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I am with Persona. It's not on the back burner necessarily. It's kind of on, on the front burner, you know, if you want to say, but like, you guys will see more and more personal content coming in the future it's just that like i can't always be recording well i guess i could i can't always be recording persona 5 content though 
Um, I'm on like my seventh or eighth playthrough now, um, which is insane because every playthrough is like 80 to 100 hours. Some guy even in the Reddit said the other day their first playthrough was like 170 hours. I was like, dang, but it does say take your time. So, but yeah, um, Persona is something that will be coming very soon and we are going to have some fun with. I know maybe even after this video you guys will see the Persona 3 drop. It just depends how editing goes. I do all editing on my videos by myself so but yeah it, it will just depend. Um, yeah that that's kind of how Persona is. Um, I will consider Persona 5 Strikers which I probably will play that. I haven't played it yet. I do have it like I'm literally staring at it right now. I have the box form of Persona 4, or sorry, not Persona 4, Persona 5 Strikers, um, and it's just sitting there. It's literally not opened. I haven't touched it yet. Um, it's just sitting there, though. And uh, Persona Dancing Games, I have played them on a channel a really long time ago, but I kind of want to play them again just because they're kind of cool, you know? They're like, they're, the, they're some of the best spin-off games I've seen in a while. They're very interesting, um, and they add a lot to the lore and uh, quality of the Persona titles. I just, oh man, I am waiting for the day that they remake 1 and 2 though. I really want to play those games. They blew me away, or I shouldn't say I haven't played those, but th their soundtracks, they really stuck with me. So yeah, that's uh, with Persona. Um, now, let's get into some other news. Um, I want to start a journey with fighting games on this ch channel. Um, at the time of recording, I have about five fighting games that I've currently downloaded and more on the way. Um, I said back in January, uh, sure you can call it like a New Year's re uh, resolution or whatever, but like I wanted to venture out of the world of click visual novels and rpgs and smash brothers and whatever just the typical content i've been doing for a while and really ingrain myself in like these like fundamental games that take a lot of skill and practice and effort and just a lot of time and devotion into them um so for example guilty gears drive i just made a recording video on that and to be honest, I have a lot to work of work to do. You, you, here's the thing with fighting games: you're always gonna have work to do, but it's like you know, like that's the charm in it. It's like you're never gonna be the best, or at least I'm never gonna be the best. I'm, you know, you know, like it's like a, it's a, it's a lottery chance of me being the best at any fighting game that I play. But like realistically, I want to get really good with it. Um, Guilty Years Drive, I'll just say it again. It's like one of my favorite fighting games to watch, but I am dog shit at it, man. I'm so bad. I don't know what's up with me. And it's like, I really want to get good and really be able to move past this stage of, oh, I'm so bad at it and get like really good. You know, it took me a while with Smash Brothers too. And, you know, like, it, it's such a unique thing or a feeling or emotion or whatever when you really elevate your status in a game and that's something that I want to do um, you know and it's something that I want to venture with you guys I really want to get really good make some appealing fighting game contents so yeah um, if that interests you Make sure to leave like, comment, and subscribe. I will be playing fighting games a lot more. Kind of what the the general like the general consensus on content on my channel would be is if you had to narrow it down, it would be like kind of like adventure games. So you have like Minecraft, whatever, just like uh, Mario Maker if you want to count that. But Mario Maker is kind of different. Um, and then Animal Crossing, which I'll get to that next. Um, and then fighting games, so like Smash Brothers, if you want to consider that, and then everything else that I just name dropped, so Guilty Gear, um, I have some other ones, I can't really think of, oh, Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, JoJo's, you know, uh, those kind of games, and then like your RPG visual novel type games, like Persona, Fire Emblem, and whatever. 
so yeah those that's kind of like what my content is going to be for a little bit you know i can see myself doing a lot with persona content i can see myself doing even more with fighting game content so if you guys are super interested in that kind of content just let me know in the comments and tell me what you guys are interested in anyway on to the next thing um so the next thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about is you know some mainstream gameplay as i said i said minecraft is a big thing but i wanted to get into you know like uh, some other games and kind of like sandbox games so for example animal crossing i have never touched an animal crossing game before but every time i see anything on animal crossing i'm blown away i'm like oh my goodness like it looks like you could do so much in the game but then like I, like it's like anything that i see from the community as well the community is so supportive so interactive everyone's loving each other's ideas and i see so many like you know i see a lot in it and i see a similar parallel with the minecraft community there's like rarely and i'm talking about like a 0.0001 percent chance of being toxic in minecraft like how how can you be toxic in minecraft you know it's a sand building game obviously there's team killing and stuff like that but it's like you know i i see like the peaceful ventures that people go on and what people do with their time people are building death stars in the nether it's like wow i want to be one of those people you know um obviously that's going to be a long ways out i'm not saying it's going to be a long ways out until i make that content but it is something to kind of put on the back burner think about for a little bit yeah that's kind of it with animal crossing uh, moving on to the more visual novel-esque uh, games, I have Fire Emblem and Voice of Cards. Now, Voice of Cards is like, I would consider an indie game, but it's made by, is it Keiichi Orabe or whatever his name is? The same person who directed Nier or whatever. Uh, it's not Yoko Taro. Well, actually, I think the music is from Yoko Taro. So I don't know, maybe it is Yoko Taro's work. But Voice of Card is Voice of Cards, I should say. It's a game that I've been wanting to play since its reveal, and I'm glad to, uh, to finally say that I have every game in my possession. The game looks fun. I know the music is going to be a banger. Yoko Taro does not miss, typically. Um, and it looks like an epic game with, like, honestly, some enthralling storytelling to it. Um, and I'm really excited to get to play it on the channel. And that's the biggest thing. Like, I want to... I don't see anyone talking about it, but it's like... The game looks phenomenal. And I think that's the purity and the joy and whatever of um, these indie games is that... Like, for example, when, when FNAF first started, it's not... Like, obviously FNAF is different, but it's like... Who knew FNAF was gonna, you know, be able to get its own movie someday? You know what I mean? It's like, imagine in like 10 years, like Voice of Cards or something like that got its own movie, you know. I doubt that will be a thing, but like, you know, that could easily be a thing. Anyway, uh, odd comparison, but I really want to play Voice of Cards on the channel. I think it would be an interesting game to explore. I know there has to be some unique stuff to it and, you know, whatnot. Um... Yeah, I feel like it's not going to be like anything I've ever touched before. So yeah. Um, as for Fire Emblem, I'm going to be honest. Uh, ever since I started playing Persona again, I just haven't felt all that interested in picking Fire Emblem back up again. Um, I don't know if it was because, you know, with Fire Emblem Engage, I recorded like 10 or so consecutive days in a row. Maybe I'm just burnt out, but I don't get the same feeling with Persona. That's the thing. Like, I'm willing to, you know, spend six or seven or eight hours in the booth and in, in the studio doing some Persona content, but it's like Engage, it's like I get burnt out after two. And not only that, it's like whenever I do Persona content, it's like, wow, you know. Uh, my mind is like limitless you know what I mean it's like I don't know what it is um so I think I am going to transfer and kind of do some more persona content now I'm not saying that I'm completely giving up 
or giving up or um, abandoning Engage or the Fire Emblem series in any means, but I'm just putting it way back. <laughs> way back on that way back burner. Um, because like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just getting a lot more enjoyment for Persona right now, and I think that's what I should stick to. Um, you know, whenever you find a game that you can really start to trend with, whether it be like a fighting game or a visual novel or whatever, I think uh, obviously you're having more happiness and having more fun with that game. I think it's obvious and apparent that you should just switch to that game. So that's something that I'm going to get into. Obviously, if you were a Fire Emblem fan or, you know, you enjoy the Fire Emblem series, it's going to be you know, whatever for you. But at least if you haven't played Persona, you know, it's a, it's a new thing. Plus, I'm experiencing the Persona 3 and Persona 4 uh, games completely new. I haven't touched them at all. I haven't, I don't know the characters, um, the personas, uh, I, I don't know. It's going to be a new experience. Um, so yeah, something to look forward for, uh, forward to, and something to, you know, to remember, I guess, in case of a uh, fire emblem. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's just that, um, Actually, you know, there is one more thing. And before we get to it, I would like to say, if you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you. Um, I'm only really here to, you know, provide a voice and provide gameplay, gameplay and, you know, do, the, do all that. I just want to say thank you. You know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, and I definitely wouldn't be making content if if like you guys weren't here um and i know i i have a small channel but it's always a good thing to to look back and look at what you have and do the most with what you have because you know realistically what if like i never said oh you know i enjoy my community i i blah 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 you know if i if i never said those things it's like it's like like, what kind of YouTuber would I really be? What kind of influencer would I really be? And I don't want to be known as the influencer or YouTuber that's like, oh, well, he doesn't love his community. He's only doing it for the profit and the money, which is totally untrue because, I mean, as you see right now, like, like, I'm literally, like, <laughs> I'm not getting paid right now, you know? So, yeah, it's, um, I can't thank you guys enough. Um... And, you know, everyone's contributions, they are, they just make my day every time I see them. Whether it's a like, a single like, or it's a positive and meaningful comment that you placed on the video, or, you know, if it's the viewer retention that you keep on the videos. You know, if you're, if you're, if I release like a 40 minute video and you guys even watch like 30 minutes, that would make me happy. You got something out of that. Like literally 30 minutes. Think about that. How long is 30 minutes? You know? And, you know, it's when you guys do every one of those things in tandem. You subscribe, you like, you comment, you watch the whole video. That's really what really makes me continue, uh, makes me want to continue to make more content. And um, I just can't thank you guys enough. Okay, on to my last and final update. And that's uh, with music creation. Um, this will be new on my channel. Uh, for a little bit of context, I've been a talented musician since my early years in middle school. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's kind of a staple of my identity, but these past few years, I haven't even touched a piano or text uh, an instrument for that matter or read any sheet music or anything like that anything music related i haven't done um despite all of this I, I still get thoughts and i still get extreme passions um emotions with like little to no barriers that i want to release um and i want you guys to feel that raw emotion 
uh, I'm sure you guys can hear in my voice and in the inflection of, of my voice um, in certain content that I do when I get super passionate about something. It's like, you guys can hear that, you know? That's the one thing with videos, it's like, you can never lie about a voice, you know? You can make it convincing, you can uh, try to oversell your point, but like, you can't lie about that raw, natural emotion. Um, but yeah, I want to make music again. And this time it's not gonna be like some garage band or online studio knockoff. No, I, I want to go all the way. <sighs> we only live for so long and listening to artists and their struggles and diversities, I think about my life and what I have to offer. What do I have to offer? Seriously, take this into consideration. Most of my favorite artists are dead. Yet me and millions of other people still listen to them daily and listen to their many endeavors. I don't want to be a one-hit wonder or become known as that quote-unquote cool internet dude who makes interesting and unique inter internet content. Um, I want to be known for something and be identifiable. I want to leave a legacy especially when I leave. And I think you could tell just by this one script, I'm truly passionate about my craft. I'm passionate about the way I carry myself, my bravado, the way I interact with certain situations. And I wanna share these mixed feelings and energies with all of y'all and I know no better way of doing so than music. That being said, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for whatever's next, whether it be Persona or Mario Maker content or anything in between. Shoot, it just might be me making a tier list about things I know nothing about. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I'm confused as to how we already breached 20 minutes. Dang, have I been talking for 20 minutes in a row? That's crazy. Anyway, I'll see you guys later, peace.